Hi, my name is Diane Ross. I'm from Florida, and I'm entering my side dish today of creamy penne a la vodka. Featured ingredient, Philadelphia cream cheese. Okay, this is where I start. While my pasta is cooking, I'm melting an 8-ounce bar of Philadelphia cream cheese in a double boiler. And now what I'm going to do is add a quarter stick of butter. On a low heat, of course. And two scallions, white pork only, chopped up. And only cook these until they're translucent. And that's, these cook pretty fast. This is a really nice, quick side dish when you're in a rush or if you're having last minute company. It takes maybe less than, I don't know, 12 minutes, 10 minutes. Because the pasta only takes about 7 minutes and that should be done. Okay, and now have it on a low heat. Take your pot away from the stove because now I'm going to add a third cup of vodka and the reason for this is you don't want it to ignite on the stove. And we'll slowly start that. Just wait until it comes to a slight boil. Now, whoops. All right, this is starting to smell good, even just the butter and scallions. I'm going to just switch this back here. I've got this going here. I'm going to give this cream cheese a nice little stir. Oh, this is looking good. Nice and creamy. Add the butter and the scallion mixture and the vodka in here. Give it a nice stir. Oh, this is looking gorgeous. It's pretty much all blended already. That's how fast this dish cooks. It's very simple. All right, now that I've got that all blended, Pretty much blended here. See how it's coating the spoon nicely. Oh, there's my little pup barking out there. A little Pomeranian. She can't see very well, but she loves my food. Actually, she's blind. <laughs> All right. Now I do this. Add the tomatoes. It's about a pound can. I use the um, Peeled tomatoes and I crush them up. Slowly add that. Got a quarter cup of heavy cream. Oh boy, this is smelling really good. The kids texted me today, what's for dinner? Well, they skipped their last class, they're on their way home. This does it all the time. Nothing like a good sit-down dinner with pasta as a side dish. It's a great accompaniment for like a pork roast, garlic infused roast beef, things of that nature. Okay, now I'm going to add oh. Alright, I crushed two tablespoons Sorry, two teaspoons of fresh pepper. Get a little heat in there. And this is so ah, oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this sauce. Yes, oh, you're all gonna like this one. You're not gonna believe how fast this is done. A 
okay. All right, while this is slowly simmering, I'm going to pour out the pasta, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have the one pound of penne pasta all strained out. And I'm going to toss it now with a quarter cup of grated cheese. I like to do this because it coats the pasta before I put the sauce on. I found that it makes the sauce adhere better, especially when there's grooves in the pasta. But I do it anyway, even if it's spaghetti and there's no grooves in spaghetti okay now here comes the good part I'm going to give my sauce one more good stir oh boy I wish there was smell-o-vision here or smell a video I don't know <laughs> whatever it is okay oh boy I can't wait to taste this again I think I'm hearing children pulling in the driveway. All right, now you take your mixture. Oh boy. Pour this all over the pasta. All right. And lightly toss it. It's going to get into all the nooks and crannies of the penne. I grew up with pasta as a side dish, especially when we went to grandma's house on Sundays for big family dinners with all my cousins and aunts. A lot of people had potatoes as a side dish. We had pasta. And like I said, it's great with a pork roast or a garlic infused roast beef. And now, top it off with some fresh parsley, a little chopped up. And I like to top it off with a little white pepper to taste, of course. And just a whoop, salt. And I'll bring that over here and I'm going to add a plate. And that is my creamy penne alla vodka. So I'm going to plate this. Oh yeah. I do love my Italian food. Put a little more parsley. I got that. And of course, being Italian, I believe nice red wine with this. I'm using a Beaujolais Village by Louis Jadot. Okay, here goes. Creamy penne alla vodka. Now that's what I call good pasta. Oh, well, Paula, Philadelphia cream cheese. I look forward to seeing you in Savannah. I know I'll be there. And I've got to get cracking on my next video. I do believe it's appetizer. Mmm. Here's to Philadelphia. Bye.